Hi, I'm Grant Fuhr, former NHL goalie. It's a different element playing without a mask. Glenn Hall, I mean, talking to him a little bit and such, the fact that he managed to play, what, 503 games straight without wearing a mask. So that just shows the character of the guys that played back then. Oh, I probably would have tried it. I'm foolish enough. <laughs> I started playing hockey when I was about four years old, so maybe a day or two ago. I grew up in a little town just outside Edmonton, a little place called Spruce Grove. So, yeah, we started on ponds. We played in an outdoor rink for, oh, forever. So, back to the original roots of hockey. I started playing goal right from day one. I mean, nobody else wanted to do it, and I thought the equipment looked cool. So, it looked like a good idea and became a goalie right at day one and continued right through. Glenn Hall was a big influence. He grew up about three, well, he was, he's from about three miles from where I grew up. And then, obviously, Tony Esposito. And guys like that, I mean, big fan of some of the older guys, Terry Sawchuk, Roger Crozier. I mean, a lot of the older guys I like, enjoyed watching as a kid. I didn't really have a set style. It was more of find a way to stop the puck. I mean, I'm not very big at five nines, so it was to create an optical illusion that I was bigger than I was. Sometimes you challenge, sometimes you sit deep. You tried not to give a team the same look. So if they did look at a film, you didn't do anything in a consistent basis. There wasn't a whole lot of color when I first started watching. It was kind of the play, just the shape of the masks was really cool. And then Jules Graton had the lion, which was pretty cool. Gary Simmons had the cobra, which was really cool. Uh, Joe Malosh had one that he had done in Cleveland that I thought was really cool for the Cleveland Barons. That it was a real neat design. So there's a few really cool ones early in just before my career and then into my career. My name is Sean Schroeder. I design and build goalie masks and uh, composite structures for hockey. When mask art first started, it was very simple. Plain lines, colors, simple logos, stripes, things that matched your team uniform. Now we've added airbrushing and painters can do pretty much whatever they want. I still like the original fiberglass masks. I think they were more personalized, more individualized. The Achilles heel of the original face mask really was that it was limited to just being a face mask. It didn't encompass the whole head and it had no um, any kind of padding inside. Yeah, it hurt a little bit more when you got hit. It's basically like somebody hit you over the head with a baseball bat. I mean, it wouldn't cut you, but it still hurt just as much. Yeah, bring it ears, you get a little bit of swelling here and there, but at the same time, it was fun to wear. But I think the vision in the old fiberglass mask was actually better because it's that flush to your face. That is the original. It's just kind of a collaboration a little bit with Greg Harrison that the bottom of the mask, it looks more like an oil derrick and then it just color bursting out of it. So it kind of blended with our uniforms and it looked cool. All the masks I wore, I tried to blend into the uniform so that everything matched. 